Okay, hello friends! Welcome to a brand Hi. new unit on poetry. And today is day one, and Eliana is going to be helping us today, and maybe Andrina will join us in a little while, we'll see. <coughs> but again, we're starting poetry for a unit. It's day one, and today we're going to be able to say, I can see with my poet's eyes. Now, here at home, we've been looking at some poetry for a little while, and you don't have to, but if you if you could now maybe take some look at some poems and some poetry books, that would be awesome to help you get ready. But it's a very exciting day. We're going to practice seeing the world with new eyes. So put some eyes on. Put some new ones on. Oh, wait. these are poet's eyes. Okay, there's your poet's eyes. And we're going to see things in fresh and brand new and kind of unusual ways. Okay. Um, I want you to take a look at this little pencil sharpener. Okay. Now, and normally, I would say. Oh, this is just a green little box, right? Yeah, but a poet named Zoe Ryder White, mm -hmm. she sees it in a totally brand new, fresh, and unusual way. So I want to show you what she came up with. This is really cool. Okay. Can you see that, Eliana? Yes. Okay. So this is, this is how Zoe saw it. She says, pencil sharpener. I think there are a hundred bees inside the pencil sharpener and they buzz and buzz and buzz until my point is sharp. Isn't that a cool way to see a pencil sharpener? Right, in a fresh new way. I mean, I never would have thought this would be like a little beehive filled with bees, right? It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. Okay, so she does the same thing with a ceiling. So at home and everyone here, I want you to look up at your ceiling and See it with your poet's eye. See it in a completely different, unusual, that, fresh that way. Be... Hold on. No. Let them do it at home. Hmm. Okay, at home, I want you to turn and tell someone what you notice about your ceiling, but in a brand new, fresh way, just like Zoe Ryder Wright did with her pencil sharpener. Okay. Um, what did you see? I'm thinking that there are little people living inside the walls. Up in the ceiling? Yeah. With those little dots? I think those are like... No, I'm thinking like inside the walls, there might be like a little people. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> like a ceiling. Okay, so the ceiling is like little people yeah. inside the walls? Uh -huh. Okay, I'm kind of wondering what you're thinking about at home. Drina, do you want to tell us what do you see up there? Do you have an idea? Mm -hmm. My pee tree's going <laughs> That's okay. Did you want to tell us what you see with your poet's eyes? Did you put your poet's eyes well, on? Well, yeah. Okay. I'm, I think it never thinks they never seen before lives up there. Wow. So you think the ceiling looks like a place where <laughs> people you've never know live up there? Yeah. Okay, can you back up just a little bit? Well, let me yeah. show you what Zoe Ryder right? Yes. That's okay. You're going to sit there? Okay, but don't I'll make sure everybody can still see it. Is this the next one? Okay. This is what she said. The ceiling is the sky. For the classroom. Now, if you're at school, that would make sense. At home, you could say, the ceiling is the sky for our, our house. Our home, our house. So cool, right? Is that cool? No. Nope. So you kind of notice that Zoe Ryder Wright takes something that is just a plain ceiling and she sees it in a fresh new way, in a completely different way. Okay, in ways we've never imagined it. She, she, maybe she looks with her poet's eyes or she thinks about her heart and her mind and what she notices. Come back and join us. Okay? So, today we're going to try that. I have a simple leaf. Can you sit right here? So, I have a leaf and I have some seashells. And we're going to try this, and then you're going to do this at home, too. I want you to think about looking at these, the seashells here. Hold them. Okay, you can hold them. And I want you to see it in a fresh and brand new way. It's not just a seashell. 
But first, we're gonna sketch it out. And this is what you'll do today on a piece of paper. You're gonna really draw your seashell with great detail. Do you wanna quick draw this shell for me? You're a better artist than I am. Are you gonna do the twisty one or the round one? Okay. But I'll twist it. Okay, so you're gonna draw the shell, and you can do this at home right now. If you've got a piece of paper, you can draw the shell with the detail. You might even notice the lines that go around in this pattern. Okay. And there and then there's these, do you see these little lines to this way? And I'll make sure to put a picture up for you so you can see it at home while you're watching. But these little lines that go like this. Do you see that? So you want to really draw all the details. And even if you want to flip it over and draw on this side of the shell, you can do that too. Think you want to draw this side? We'll go back to that. So now what we're going to do is we're going to see our shell in a brand new way. Either join us or, or be quiet, okay? There might be a crab okay. thing in it or something. So we're going to see it in a brand new way. So I might say something like this. I'm going to write my ideas down. And I put shell here so I remembered. Um, it's a path because it kind of looks like a little trail, doesn't it? A path. Do it. You get to do the next one. A path to an, an un underwater, un underwater uh, unknown land. Adventure. I want to put adventure. Okay. But you can put that. Okay. What else do you see with your poet's eyes? Hmm. Um, might be a little a crab of like a city of crabs inside there. A city of crabs. Write that down. And so we're going to keep writing down different things that we see with our poet's eyes. We're going to see things in unusual, fresh ways. Okay. I actually, where's that, where's that shell? Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. When I flip the shell this way, I actually think it looks like a tiny little ear. Oh, can you write a tiny ear for me? I think that's what that looks like. So what I'd like you to do now, and we're going to do it here too, I'd like you to look right away at the picture of the leaf and the shells. And in your notebook, right on at the top, right, draw your picture and then write down all the different things that the way you see this shell in a brand new fresh way. And then draw your leaf and write down all the different ways you see it. Just wait. All the different ways you see it with your brand new fresh poet's eyes. See things in an unusual way. And then tomorrow, we'll get back and we'll see what our notes and what we did with our notes. And then we'll be doing two different objects tomorrow. Okay? All right. So you want to say bye to everybody? Bye! Bye. Have a great day. Bye. 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 You're still drinking. Have a great day and we'll see you next bye. time. Bye! Have fun. Bye.